This is the Mondak Oilfield Review with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies, and this is the Mondak Oilfield Review heard in the Crude Life Media Network. On today's episode, we talk with Dan Hedrington with SEH about the Davis Refinery and receiving their permit to construct from the North Dakota Health Department. In just a moment, part of our exclusive interview with Dan Hedrington, right here on the Mondak Oilfield Review. Hey folks, I want to take a quick second to tell you just in time for summer, the Crude Life t-shirts are now on shale. Three different designs available. Show your support for the industry and become an energy enthusiast by living the crude life. Visit thecrudelife.com and click on the t-shirts now on shale. That's the Crude Life t-shirts now on shale. Welcome back to the Mondak Oilfield Review. My name is Jason Spies. Up next, Dan Hedrington with SEH about the North Dakota Health Department giving the permit to construct the Davis Refinery. Oh, excellent, Jason. Thank you very, very much. And yeah, it, it's a very exciting day. Um, we Today we received our permit to construct. That's our air permit um, uh, through the uh, North Dakota Department of Health Air Quality Division. And um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a very long process and we're very excited and grateful to have received it. Um, this, this process started Oh, a long time ago, I mean, to the tune of, you know, we started communications with um, the department probably 18 months ago and went back and forth a bunch of times, worked on on just the, the permit itself and what we were requesting and the equipment that is being, that is going to be utilized. I went through a public comment period, a public hearing, um, asking for people's input from all over the place. And um, things actually came together very, very well. The state of North Dakota has done a tremendous job reviewing these documents and confirming and verifying that not only, um, you know, what equipment is being proposed to be used, but how much emissions comes off, you know, the individual components and how it all blends together and how it models and, you know, what happens with the airflow and, you know, just everything that's, that, that goes on with what you can imagine with, you know, any potential um, um, airflow coming from a facility. And uh, it's all gone very, very well, extremely well. And uh, today we received that permit. So thank you for that. It's, um, it's an exciting day. We're very happy. To listen to the full-length interview with Dan Hedrington with SEH or to listen to other Mondak oil field reviews, visit thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. The Mondak oil field review is part of the Crude Life Media Network. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. All those social media links are available at thecrudelife.com. From the staff at the Mondak oil field review, my name is Jason Spies asking you to keep calm and frack on. Over the past few months, I've told you about how unbelievable hatch coaching is. Well, don't just take my word for it. Listen to what Greg Tavine of Emerging Prairies has to say about hatch coaching. I got to watch him give a talk at TEDx Brookings, and I saw him come into his own where he shared uncomfortable things from his past in a way that created a teaching environment. And Eric's somebody that could easily lead with all he's accomplished, and it's a long list. To find out more information about hatch coaching or to have Eric Hatch come to your company or event, visit coachingwithhatch.com. That's coachingwithhatch.com.